What is up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous freaking day. Zach? Yeah. Do you want to tell everybody how happy you are about your shit box? I'm having a great day, you know. Just He's having a great day, haters, guys. Like are you happy about all the awesome views you're getting for your shit box? I, people love it. I never thought a shit box would get so many views, okay, to be honest. Just, oh, ever. You, I'm telling you, they're going to watch a fight video. Like, do you guys want a fight video? Comment below. We, listen. If you want to see me kick my son's ass. If, if we get enough comments, me and you could like set up an actual like. We could do like a boxing match. I know that's what I'm saying. Like um, what's his name? Like me and you could literally. Like what's his name? name? Freaking um, who's the other YouTuber? Logan Paul. Yeah. We could do like a kickboxing no, match. Like, you and me. Like me and you could actually. Nomeo versus Jolly Green Giant. Not even that. Like me and you could like go in someone's yard that we know and just like set up the GoPro and just go at it in a yard. I'm telling you, like. Trying to fight you. <laughs> you lose. Every time we wrestle, you lose because I'm no, fat. No, I beat you that one time. You didn't beat me any time. I, that one time we fought, I was like, and I like pulled his leg out from under him. He went right He didn't over, pull anything out right from under me. Yep. He has, a little, he has a little mouth on him, guys. Uh -huh. Little mouth on him. He's going to be straight down. going to go into the ground. Okay. Anyways, let's get this video started, guys. Let's, let's get it started. Yeah. So we found, so we have a little update. Update number one, the oil is staying clean. Update number two. It's it's kind of clean. It needs another another one or two oil changes. If you guys haven't seen the latest video, you can check that out here. And then further in the video, you'll see all the other videos that we're doing with the Tiburon, the good old clapped out shit box, the Tibby, the Sharky, whatever he wants to call its thing. And um, update number two is the car's not overheating as of right now. It's not really but yeah it's not overheating but we are just letting it run for a half an hour to 45 minutes just sitting here we have put two bottles of blue devil into the rat eater system it is the pour and go not the other stuff we have to take the thermostat out but uh we did do the pour and go two bottles the oil is getting cleaned up a little bit more and the engine does sound good doesn't seem to be having any major major issues now once we start driving this thing and actually like driving it around for an hour or two hours driving it here driving it there maybe something will arise i don't know how well that blue devil stuff works but we're getting there yeah. but we're looking over this thing and we found another issue with this car um it was kind of a weird issue and uh do, do you want to do you want to show them what it, yeah. what it is that you found so if we pull this here and pull that there <laughs> uh yeah guys this uh this box has no air filter in it no air, air filter. We didn't even know it. It was latched and everything. Yeah. Didn't even realize the air box had no air filter in it. Advanced Auto in New Holland is dropping off a nice new filter for this thing. And you're going to be very, very happy. So right. we're going to put that in. And then we're also going to, in this video, guys, we're going to adjust the Raceland coilovers. And uh, front and rear, we're going to actually le lift up the car a little bit. Maybe, what, a half an inch in this video? Three inches. Three we're not inches. doing three inches. It's not a four-wheel drive inches. monster truck. Three inches each side. <sighs> three inches in. I want two hands in between the wheel. You're, I got something you can put in between the wheel. Goofy. Come here. Come do it. But yeah, one thing at a time on this car. So, uh, I guess, I guess let's get this thing jacked up in the front. We're let's probably going to pull the wheels let's off. Start it. No. Oh, that's the other thing. So we found out, um, we might be able to get this battery warrantied. Uh, since it's an Everstore battery, we can take it back to Walmart and maybe get a warranty and get a brand new battery. It's only less than two years old as well. Four of 18, as you guys can see there. So after this video is all done, we're going to actually park the car, take the battery out, take it to Walmart, see if we can get a new one. That way this car has a brand new battery, a brand new air filter, and it's lifted up a little bit. So, that was the thingy, right, so by the way? what happened? That was the thing that was doing some weird stuff. Oh yeah, it was high revving. So we unplugged the IAC and it, it came back down again. And then once it warmed up, we plugged it back in. There is a guy, I'm going to put his information right here, that is going to be hooking us up with some parts for this car, including an IAC. No, I, idle air control restrictor plate for this as well. So we're going to be uh, contacting him, working with him a little bit. Also check me out. Um, check out my Instagram. You know, right, uh, right. Do I just... just... Unbelievable. Hi, Connor. Hi. I said hi. The, the kid, no, he wants nothing but shout outs. That's all I, he wants. Listen, give I me want a shout out, Dad. Give me, to a, give me a shout out, Dad. I want a shout out. Get to a thousand followers and I won't have to. Nobody wants to get to a thousand followers. I, I want to get to a thousand followers. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Come on, jack that thing up. We got to get the front tires off the ground. That way we can adjust the, the shocks properly. We need to definitely need to raise this thing up. Will you use your muscles for. Come on. My body, 
skinny little oh it's off the ground never mind <laughs> yeah just leave it there okay so i don't know if you guys can see it but that is the coils it looks like the adjustments wait a minute does this have adjustable coolers on it Raceland? Did you i don't know if us? it does does it did you fail us recently? or does it just have springs if it wasn't adjustable, well, let's take they, the wheel off and find out. They weren't all beat. I was under the impression that this had coil overs on it, which I thought it did. I mean, we were told it was Raceland coilovers. Yeah, maybe it just has lowering springs on it, and that's it. We're gonna pull this wheel off and find out. How's that sound? Full sound. Let's do it. God, you take way too long. Okay, here. This is our socket. Make sure it fits in there. There you go. Now make sure they're on there good. You got it in the right, go in the right direction. No, don't do that, Goofy. Unbelievable. Okay. Okay, first off, here, do this. This is a lot easier to do it this way. So stick it in there like that and make sure it's latched and then rip it out. So go ahead and zip them things out of there, boy. You got to get on the socket, Goofball. Give her hell. All right, do all of them now. You said Zip it off some more. What are you doing? You said you're buying lug nuts. For I'm not thing? buying anything for this. This is your vehicle. You're an responsible teenager now. Now pull your wheel off. Who said buying a car would be fun? Oh, these are light. These are really light. Are they? Let me see. Oh my God, those are really light. No, oh, I mean, they're lighter than light. I mean, they're light enough. All right, let's see what we got going on here. So it looks like we have, oh yeah, they are adjustable. Man, they are down low, guys. Look, they're all the way to the bottom, Zach. Full set. They are all the way to the bottom. Let's pull the other, uh, let's pull the other wheel off. So bring that over here wow these things are adjusted all the way to the bottom we're definitely gonna have to adjust these things up there you go ladies and gentlemen finally doing some work on this thing that's meaningful ah, brake pads look good zach yep that thing's lowered to the hilt lowered to the hilt and they are raceland coilovers guys right there's an right there's a freaking uh raceland symbol so we do have spare wrenches which is good huh. we're gonna do the front we're gonna do the front first, and then we're gonna do the back. Is what we're gonna do. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on. So I guess we gotta figure out how much we gotta go up to lift the car up an inch. What do you think? Eighteen inches. Or do you want to do like, do you want to do like a couple turns on both sides, like count five turns? Let's count. Slap the no. Let's listen. Count. Slap the wheel on. Put two lug nuts on the wheel real quick. Let it down and see how it sits in the let's front. Do, let's do four turns. Let's do five turns. Let's do how much is five turns? Gonna I don't know. Be? We'll, we'll, that's what I'm saying. We'll have to do five turns. Put the wheel it's back be on. A big game of guess and check. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're gonna start adjusting, ladies and germs. We're gonna start adjusting. There's a squirrel. All right. So far, what we did, what we do here, Zach, we raised this one up. How much? Half an inch. Half inch. We're using a caliper. The caliper is set to a half an inch on this side. Zach got the spanner wrench yeah. from Raceland. We're going to go over and we're going to adjust the front now a half an inch and measure with the caliper to see. Well, that's important. Yeah, that is. <laughs> so you know what you're doing, right? Yeah. Alrighty. So you're going to go, yep, you're going to go that way. So it's going to be a lot of turning. A lot of turning. You see? It sucks a little bit sucks a little bit all right we're gonna get this one adjusted it's gonna take a little bit but zach he's got it don't you buddy I'm determined <laughs> you having fun yet zach you know we can leave it lowered <laughs> no i liked it i think a half an inch is gonna be good this is yeah it's this is what you, this is what you wanted <laughs> i dude it was way too low man we needed to lift this thing up just a hair you're too low wow all right half inch uh raise and these are one to one Half inch raise on the passenger side, half inch raise on the driver's side. So we're not gonna tighten them down yet. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put both wheels on with two lug nuts. Well, I'm not, Zach is. Yeah. And then we're gonna lower the car down and see where it sits in the front. What do you think, bud? Which, one, which side do you wanna start with? We're gonna do uh, that side. This side? All righty. Well, you probably, yeah, I mean, a little bit, a little bit of a gun. Gonna need a little bit again. Yeah, that's on. All right, let's, uh, let's let the jack down. Turn it to the left. Let her down and let's see how she sits. Maybe we might want to go up another half an inch, possibly. No, we're not gonna have to go. Up. We don't know that. Uh, ugh, that's still freaking low. My God, <laughs> that's still really low. Did that do anything? It did. It did a little bit. 
Like it's not as tucked as it it's was. It's still gonna be either. Yeah, it wasn't wow. as tucked as it was before. Yeah, but you gotta think once the lips on the front. I say we go up another half an inch. It is one to one, so we're raising it up an inch. Well, because once I put. But now we know where this sits at least. Well, you know what I mean? Eventually, as the viewers know, I want to. Yeah. Well, not a bumper, but I want to put a lip on it. Eventually. Yeah, well, trust me, you're not going to want this thing slammed yeah, low if you're going to put a lip on this thing. Low with the lip, because the lip, right. lose the lip. Well, we'll jack it back up real quick. We'll add another half an inch to it in height. That should bring us up pretty good. What do you think? Good. So we'll do one half, one half in the front, and one in the back. Or yeah, one, we'll do one half in the front, one in the back. One inch in the back, one half in the front. All right, we're gonna pull this thing back apart again real quick adjust it and then we're gonna go ahead and do the back and then when we come back to the video here which is gonna be for you guys in a few seconds for us like 17 hours with him doing the job you know i don't need that kind of negativity because i will pull this thing out I, this. he's gonna pull this thing out no, this thing and we'll show you the final outcome of how this thing sits with the coil overs properly adjusted lifting this car up a little bit higher guys all righty so what we did here zach you want to tell him what we did so we went through and we took the little Raceland thingies. Like the spanner little, wrenches. The claw thing. The claw thing? Yeah. The it's claw called thing. a spanner wrench. It's called a claw thing. Whatever. We took it and we were like, <laughs> put it in here and then these on the coilovers for people who don't know what they're like. Look, if you don't believe it, his hands are dirty too. Look. I know, right? <laughs> so for people who don't know what they look like, it's these little gear thingies. And you just claw you adjust the top one and you turn. To compress the spring, which then pushes everything down. So how much did we go up on the front and the rear from complete? slam so from slammed on the front we went up uh inch and a half and then the back we did the same inch and a half in the back as well yes so i think this is going to have a real nice stance when it's done um the only thing left is that's the last one left so you got to put your goo on yeah this will keep the lug nuts from rusting onto the studs which is bad which is bad and it'll keep it from having any uh corrosion issues in the future it'll make them make the lug nuts come on and off and my tires shouldn't pop off and decide to roll down the highway so. <laughs> yeah all right, cool. Let's get that wheel on. Yep, yep. Get the lugs on. He's getting real good at putting these wheels on, man. Just think, if you get a flat on the side of the road, you're golden. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Coming such a financial mistake in the first place. Definitely still a financial mistake. <laughs> After he's done putting this last wheel on and putting the lug nuts on, we are going to be torquing everything down which shouldn't be too hard. 100 foot pounds for everything. Boom, boom, boom. All four corners. That way we're good to go. You got the and then out? I got it. It's in, the, it's in my little cart. And the nice thing is then we'll be able to see what this thing looks like um, compared to what it was before, which uh, I should have done it before and after picture. Uh, I'll have it on my Instagram. Follow me on my Instagram right Follow here. Instagram. Whatever. Follow me on my Instagram so you can see. And he'll probably have it on his Instagram too. But follow us on our Instagrams, I guess. And you'll see the difference between up and down or lowered and, and heightened up an inch and a half for these Raceland coilovers here on a uh, 2006 Tiburon GT Limited Edition. I think it's going to look nice. What do you think, Zach? It's going to look beautiful. It is? I know. It's because I, I told you to do it. That's the wrong way. You're, you're going the wrong way. There we go. Now you're, now you're doing. Yeah, I hit it against and I know you guys are probably going crazy right now, thinking, "Oh my God, Zach, you're torquing, you're you're tightening these lug nuts up in a circle." But when he does the torque down procedure, it's going to be in a star pattern. Yeah. Right now he's just seating everything. Don't freak out, guys. That's all. All right, buddy. Let's let this thing down. Oh, it's in the back. Yep. Got to let it down. That actually looks really good. I have my down. Push, push down on the bumper or on the fender. It's just sit on sit on the bumper to compress the spring a little bit more oh my God. wow 100 and, 110 pounds that's that's pounds. definitely doing yeah it just you need to you need to just just seat that's all what's it look like that looks so much better dude that does look so much better <laughs> it's still lowered but it's not like you can't have a slam vehicle i i could have a slam vehicle i just had a slam i mean vehicle. we can always adjust it back but i'm not doing that for you you can do that just like you lifted it up I like it. I think it's going to be, a, it's probably going to ride a whole lot nicer. All right, let's get a torque wrench. You got to torque these things down, buddy. Beep, beep, beep. All right, go ahead and you do the last one you got there. We'll record you doing the one at least. No point in recording you do all of them, you know? And mine, mine beeps, and beeps and vibrates. <laughs> it beeps and vibrates. <laughs> All 
There we go. You're getting it. You're getting it. Tiring work being a mechanic, huh? That's why I'm not being a mechanic. Wow, good job. No motor T for me. <laughs> no motor T for me, he says. Unbelievable. That's what I'm going to say to the recruiter. No motor T Oh, really? For me. Is that what you're going to say? Yep. Please, no chef. Please, no chef. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and put uh, your socket back in your center console. That oh, way you don't lose it. And we'll put the torque wrench away. All right. Last but not least. Oh, yeah. Let's get the air filter in there because I'm sure that was causing all kinds of stupid issues. Indeed. So, go ahead and pull that air air filter out of there, boss, and definitely the sticker in there. Pretty simple job putting an air filter in. Obviously, you're having the difficulties uh, opening up. There no, we I don't go. Need your negativity. <laughs> oh my God! Get it I... in there. Yep. No, upside down. There you go. Now put it in there. Make sure it fits. Uh, good. You're good. All right. Cool. Perfect. All right. It's like you gotta uh, get past uh, the battery. Yeah, we go. Watch your crank outs. Really poking me and stuff. You can do it. Uh, All right. Get your jump box on. We'll start her up. See how she sounds with an air filter in there. Kids throwing freaking trash everywhere. I threw it over the back of my head to be cinematic. Oh, to be cinematic. It's like, oh, I want to be cinematic, Dad. We're making a cinematic masterpiece right now, aren't we? Yeah, I can see that. That's fine. I can see we're making a, a, a cinematic masterpiece here. Wait a Yeah, you see, now with the air filter in there, it's getting the right everything. It's not getting air fuel that's all messed up and shit like that. So, yeah, it's already idling better, dude. Look at that. That air filter was probably causing a little bit of problems. What's that? It's that I it's that IAC dude. That IAC is causing issues. We're gonna have to get that researcher plate. Just rev her up, give her a let her let her come down. There you go. Oh yeah, that's okay for right now. Definitely looks a lot better raised up. I like it. I think it looks good, man. Here, let me shut the hood. Yeah, yeah buddy. What are you doing, weirdo? No, I don't care what you do. Six grand, you said? Whatever, six grand, send it. How do you feel about what we accomplished today? He doesn't seem to be taking things very seriously. I feel that we did a good job as a team. Team. Team Work. Weaver. Team Weaver. Team Weaver. Team Weaver. Um, we got the job done. I think the car looks great. Man, it's weird that you're holding the camera like, wait. Well, it's like it's a better. Me out, man. Job well completed. Thank you, Zach, for helping me uh, learn how to put uh, coilovers and make them uh, adjustable and stuff. I appreciate that. Car looks great. I'm very happy with the car. Are you very happy with the car? Um, I think once you really, really start driving it, once we get it registered and all that jazz, you can legally drive it on the street. You're going to love it. I don't know. Like, I like and then we can put a body kit on it, like a little body kit on it. A little cute little because body kit. camera i don't want your camera Feel weird all right camera. guys that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and even learned a little something we got one more thing accomplished on the ship box sharky i mean at least it starts uh, with an s you're getting close <laughs> so we uh we put an air filter on it yeah the air filter's on the yeah, suspension yeah. is raised up an inch and a half which i think is looking very very good it's going to settle a little bit looking up and there. we're going to be going and getting a battery from walmart tonight on the way home so we're good to go, guys. Other no than that... No more jump box. What? No, no more, more jump, jump box. box. Yeah, no more jump box. Other than that, guys, if you enjoyed the content, do me a favor. Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing for updates on everything. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And he's mocking the hell out of me. That's because I know your outro. Deuces. <laughs> wow, guys. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this kid. He's up for adoption if anybody's interested. Let I me come know. with a car. He comes, yeah, he comes with a car. Comes with a car. Deuces, guys.